before I attach those other brackets, let me just let you see this up close. I am over the moon with excitement about this. I have not had anything hoop this good. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I'm, I am If shook. you saw my first tutorial where I was using these hoops that came with my Recoma Marquee 2001 20 needle embroidery machine, you already know I struggled to hoop my hoodie, but I bought some new stuff and I wanna show you what I got. Let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda. And thank you so much for joining me today. As you can see, I have a new toy in my hand and I cannot wait to show you what I purchased from Hoop Master or Mighty Hoops. I think it's a joint collaboration. I'm going to show you all the things. I'm going to try to hoop a shirt and see if it's easier for me. I might even try to hoop a hoodie. We don't know just yet. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Now, without further ado, let me show you what I got and hopefully it helps you. Let's get started. I have everything out of the box now and let's kind of just take a look at what I have before I start to assemble anything. I have the five by five standard kit that's recommended when you purchase the Rakoma multi-needle. So I just got the standard kit. I also got the adjustable bracket. I think this is called the adjustable fixture for standard station. I also purchased two additional hoops. I purchased the eight by 13 Mighty Hoop and the 11 by 13 Mighty Hoop. And that is all. So I haven't assembled anything. I'm going to start with the standard kit first and then I'll add the brackets to the two hoops over here on the right. Let's get started. Okay, so the Hoop Master does come with an instruction manual. And um, the first thing it says is if you don't want the Hoop Master or the station to lay flat, it's best to put it at the middle angle. So I'll start there first and let's kind of look at how to do that according to the user manual this position is best when you are hooping things like blankets or towels however the most common and the recommended position is for this um, notch to be right here in the middle and the suggested way to do that is to flip this over and just remove the wing nut here from the back. The highest level is also not recommended. So I'm just gonna put it here in the middle and if I don't like it, I'll move it. So that was very easy and I think this is going to be great. All right, let's see what I do next. Next, I am going to assemble the freestyle base. And in order to do that, I am going to need a Phillips screwdriver. I have one right here. So I'll take these apart, separate these apart. Okay, so I'm going to use this bag of nuts and bolts and Just like this. Okay. 
All right. So there is the portable base all assembled. Okay, now that I have it assembled, I'll use the Phillips to tighten this. Tighten this if I need to. There's that. They're not the the bolts are not flush into the adjustable base. All right, let's keep going. Now I'm going to take this apart and see how to to use this. This is called the T square. It came with the kit. This is the five by five mighty hoop. This is called the hoop master fixture. And according to the instructions, what I'm supposed to do is place this on top of the station like this. And I'm supposed to line up this hole with number 19 right here on the station. Okay, so going to do that. Place it there and line it up with number 19. Okay. Just kidding. <laughs> so this actually comes apart from this. These are two separate things. So what I need to do is pull these apart from one another like that. So that magnet is very strong because I was super confused about this. Okay, so now I can actually see the hole right here and I'm going to line up this hole with number 19 over here on my right. And I can look and I can see where number 19 is. It's right there. Okay. And then uh, there are pegs here. So there are holes. These are actual holes. I'll get closer so you can see that. And these, um, these little pegs right here go into the hole. Okay. So I'm going to line this up with number 19, like it says to do like that oh okay it's starting to click okay so let's see if we can see number 19 let me get closer so you can see that so this hole is lined up so that i can see number 19 clearly and i just push the pegs down into these these are actual holes right here for the pegs to go in. this is the freestyle arm as indicated by the name <laughs> And I'm assuming, because I still haven't read this part yet, but I'm assuming you would use this on the freestyle base right here. But I'll look at that later. We're going to keep going with this and see how this works. Okay, now that I have this on top of the station, what I'm going to do is separate the 5x5 five five hoop. So... I think it's best because it says that these are strong magnets, keep away from this, keep like, I do feel like there's a very strong pull and I don't want to get pinched by this. I don't want to be pinched by anything, but definitely not this. So I'm going to separate it right here on the side. I'm just going to do it like this. There is a very, very strong pull. And what I'll do is I'll insert this, first part first, which is the inner part that normally goes inside your shirt or your hoodie or whatever. And I can see on the station, there's a piece that matches this size and there's a the one that matches here. So I'll insert this bottom part first and kind of just push it down. So I have the bottom part in. 
I also have a piece of cutaway stabilizer. So I'll just put it here. Oh, but according to the manual, you're supposed to open these up first. Like that. And I'll just put this here on top and close this. And now I will insert the top of the hoop or the outer hoop. I know that this is the side that I hoop on the right on my machine. So I'm just going to keep it just like that. And this goes on top right here. Kind of just goes like that. And let's see what I'm supposed to do now. I think I'm just supposed to press it down and it's supposed to attach to the magnet that's already there. Let me get you a little bit closer so you can see that. All right, so I'm going to push it and see what happens. <laughs> okay, I did it. <laughs> okay, look at that. Wow. <laughs> look, look how tight this is. I have never, ever hooped that tight. Maybe I pushed it too hard. I guess it's sensitive. Um, okay, so that's exciting. Let me grab a shirt and see if it'll have that same effect. <laughs> Let's try that again with a shirt. So I'm using the same piece of stabilizer. I have the bottom of my hoop right here. Going to open these flaps. Okay. I'm using the same piece stabilizer that I used the first time. That was quite amazing, kind of impressive. All right, so now I'm going to put the shirt on top. This is just a medium shirt. I'm nervous, I'm nervous about this, but we're gonna see. All right. Move this stuff. All right, and <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's put this on top the way that it was the first time. I think it was just like this. Okay, and I'm going to press it and see how it does. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so. How do you take this off? Oh, you just pull it, okay. And let's see if it had the same. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited Before about this! Before I attach those other brackets, let me just let you see this up close. I am over the moon with excitement about this. I have not had anything hoop this good oh my gosh that is amazing um i am sure let's start with the eight but let's start with the 11 by 13 hoop first it comes with these two brackets and the brackets are labeled so this lets me know that this bracket goes on the right and the other bracket obviously will go on the left and i know that just by looking at these nuts and bolts i'm going to need a phillips screwdriver because i can see the the indentation right there so let's get started with that because my hoop came with the flat head bolts or flat head screws i'm supposed to insert the screws from the back so I was doing it the opposite way and I wasn't supposed to do it like that. So basically what I'm doing is inserting the screws first. And then I'm just going to hold these three screws with my, my hand and turn it over 
and place the bracket on top like this and then start to tighten up the nuts on top. with my hand and then I'll flip it over and tighten it again with the screwdriver. There's the left side. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. I'll insert the screws from the back first. So three holes I'm on, on my right on the back. I'm gonna hold my fingers here, flip it over. Add the metal plate or the bracket. So here is what this looks like. This is how you insert the brackets. Okay, so now I'm just going to attach the other part to this, being very careful because I don't want to get pinched. There's that pinch hazard again. One way to avoid getting pinched is to hold the brackets by the side, by the two um, brackets on the side like this, and then just kind of bring it together so your fingers are out of the way. Now I'm just going to attach that one and then we will get that mounted onto the station and see how it all works. All right, let's add the adjustable hoop. So I'm going to remove this from here, pulling it out of the pegs. And this, this is called the adjustable mighty hoop fixture. And on the bottom, it comes in two parts. So here's the bottom part, and here is the top of it. And with the bottom, there are pegs. So I'm just going to insert this down here. I'll start at the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll just start at the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five, just because that's in the middle. No rhyme or reason. No rhyme. Or reason okay so have it in there in the pegs and this is the top and um, what I'm going to do with this is just bring it here like this and you have to adjust the screws that are underneath in order to slide this on so there are screws here at the bottom Hopefully I've adjusted it enough. Okay. And my goal is to fit my eight by 13 hoop on. So just like with the other hoop, I know that this is the bottom. And what I'll just move this up until I'm sure about where it goes. So there is my eight by 13. And We will get it lined up like that. I think that's, I think this is great. Okay, so now I'm going to lock this in place just by twisting the knobs in the back. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, removing the top. So I'm placing this on the back, push down like I did the first time. I'm gonna open these flaps like I did the first time. I'm going to get a piece of stabilizer that's big enough to cover that. Okay, I have stabilizer that's big enough to cover this whole piece right here. Now I'm going to close these flaps to keep my stabilizer in place. 
And now I'm going to grab that same shirt that I had before. I have the top of my view. I have my shirt, same shirt. I'm gonna put it over top. I'm, I'm ready to be amazed. I'm ready. Now this is high up, but the goal is just to see how this all works. But I can tell that this is too high, but let's just see. I'm nervous, but let's see. If this worked, I'm a, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. It is perfect. Let's look at the inside. Oh my gosh. I'm in love. Inside of my shirt, perfectly hooped. And there we go. Look at that. Look at how tight that is. Oh my goodness. I am in love with this. Okay. If you have found this tutorial helpful, oh, I put it on upside down. I put it on upside down. I cannot express to you how excited I am right now about all of the possibilities and how fast it'll be to hoop shirts and hoodies and everything in between. I'm very excited about this. Now, hopefully you have found this tutorial helpful, even though I didn't get into all of the numbers and all of that, I'm still learning about that. And as I learn more, I will definitely be sharing more about this. But if you did find this helpful, remember to like the video, subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.